So welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Binance's stop limit orders to protect yourself with some risk management for the downside, but also you can use this for upside if you have a breakout play on your hands. But for most people, they utilize this function so they can sleep easy at night when they're away from the computer. If the market does crash for whatever reason, you can set and forget to ensure that you actually exit the market, limiting your downside risk exposure. Now, if you do enjoy the content today, please subscribe to the channel and also consider using the Binance referral link down below as well. Get yourself a brand new fresh account and let's start trading together. So on screen, we have the Binance Academy information. What is a stop limit order? Within this, they tell you these are the type of orders that are triggered by the stop and the limit is then placed. So you can set expectations as to how much you're willing to risk on a trade, but also where you want to take profit on a trade as well. And as it states on here, even if you are logged out or offline, it will still strategically place these stop limit orders. So definitely a useful tool, but let's jump into the Binance interface and see this in practice. So here we are on screen, I have the Ripple to BUSD chart in front of me. And here we have the main interface for the trading information. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here so we can see everything. You'll notice there are three order types. You have a limit order, a market order, and stop limit, which will be the focus of this one. A market order, this is where you pay the going market rate for an asset, which would be the figure quoted in the middle here. And then we have obviously a limit. You can buy or sell at specified prices. Maybe you wanna buy a little bit cheaper, sell a little bit higher. You can do that with a limit order. But what we're gonna focus on is stop limit. First thing to take into consideration is the chart of the coin you're looking at. So we're going to do this to the downside here for some risk management. So say we own a substantial amount of Ripple, we do think it's going to go up. However, we've got a feeling the market is looking a bit shaky here at around 39 cents. And if it does crash whilst we're asleep, for example, we want to cash out and protect our capital. So what you would do in this instance is select a price at which you think this is a confirmed breakdown from. So say this kind of level here, there's previous highs here and a few wick lows, say around 37 cents. If we do trade below 37 cents, maybe you think it lights out. So this is where you would put the stop price. So we'll enter 0.37 for the stop price. This is just a trigger. So once price hits this level, it will then trigger your actual limit order. So think of stop as trigger and limit as the execution. So you would place the limit lower than the stop, for example, at 36 cents. You could do this quite a bit higher. You could do like 36 6.9 cents for example however if you do get a big wick through a stop order it may not actually trigger the limit order in time so that is something to be aware of and to give yourself a little bit of buffer between the two numbers then we use the sliding scale to determine how much ripple we're selling at that price so on screen we have a 37 cents stop price if the market comes to there it will then place my limit order for me at 36 cents then all we have to click is sell xrp and then we get the message confirming what we've done it says here if the last price drops to or below 37 cents an order to sell 19 ripple at a price of 36 cents will be placed and then you would click confirm so if you hear a trader mentioning they're tightening up their stops this is typically what they mean in highly volatile conditions you may want to do this to protect your capital if you're away from your computer for an extended period of time however we can also use these on the flip side for breakout plays as well so back in the chart you may determine look if Ripple gets above around 43 and a half cents, for example, this would be a confirmed breakout here on this daily chart, at which point I'd be happy to buy a little bit higher and try and catch the move up. So on this, you would therefore get your stop price maybe at 43.5, 43.6 cents, somewhere in this region. And then you would enter the price at which you wish to place the limit order. So maybe at 46 cents, you would then be bidding. You would then use your slider along the bottom to determine how much ripple you're going to be buying at 46 cents. And then again, you would come down and click buy XRP. 
So in that instance, we have placed an order then for the breakout play to buy it if it does break out whilst we're away from the PC and potentially catch a nice move upwards. So as you can see, the stop limit function can be used for both downside risk management to protect your capital, but it can also be used on the upside for breakout trading as well. So I hope you found this one very useful. If you did, please use the referral link down below for Binance, jump on the team, and if you have any further requests for tutorials on Binance, drop them down below and I'll take a look at getting those sorted for you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.